One of the most important use cases for the blockchain are supply chains. They are incredibly complex, interdependent networks, and, and everything that happened back in March and in April illuminated how fragile our global supply chains are. We learned the hard way that if we focus entirely on efficiency, we're going to sacrifice resilience, and then we're going to run out of toilet paper and medicine. Supply chains are the veins of our global economy, and the blockchain can keep them running smoothly without sacrificing resilience. Now you probably already know a V-chain, it's currently ranked around 30th by market cap, but I prefer to look for projects that are solving massive problems, gaining adoption, and whose market cap doesn't yet reflect the value that they're creating. And this inevitably leads us to Origin Trail. Welcome to DeFi Now, I'm Josh Cross, here with our DeFi dog, Steve Irwin. Irwin, fist bump. Good boy. There you go. Nice little treat. Let me fix your mohawk. I just, okay, I'm not going to fix your mohawk. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, and be sure to hit those subscribe and bell buttons, or smash them if that's your style. And note that I do own some trace tokens, but as always, I'm not a financial advisor. Now let's dig into Origin Trail. Origin Trail, not to be confused with Oregon Trail, the MS-DOS game we grew up playing in the 90s. That one, you'd always dive dysentery. It's a permissionless blockchain agnostic protocol for exchanging data in, in global supply chains. It's not a blockchain, it's a layer 2 decentralized network that goes on top of blockchains. You have the blockchains as the base layer, then the Origin Trail decentralized network, which we're going to just call the ODN so we don't overload on syllables, is a layer above it. And then the applications are built on top of that. Being blockchain agnostic is key here because then they're not tied to a specific platform. They can work on many blockchains, so users can choose which one fits their needs best. Blockchains are great for data integrity and trust, but they're really not great for handling the volume of data coming from supply chains, at least in their current state, which is why the ODN doesn't have a blockchain. While Origin Trail is a permissionless network, the core development is done by Trace Labs, the for-profit company behind Origin Trail. Just like Parity Tech created Polkadot, Trace Labs wanted the network to be open and decentralized, so it's a separate business entity for them to make money on their creation. The ODN mainnet has been out for almost two years now. They've secured some seriously major partnerships. They're integrating with legacy systems such as GS1, Oracle, and SAP, as well as newer systems like the Internet of Things and other blockchains. And it's important that they are compatible with all of the existing standards as well as the new ones to make the transition feasible for most businesses. For example, barcodes are universal because they are GS1 standards, so anyone can scan a barcode and see what product it represents and which company made the product. With Origin Trail, this goes further. You can scan a QR code on your food container and find where it came from. You can scan a container of milk and see where the dairy farm is located. You can scan a medicine bottle and see where it was manufactured and how many steps it made around the world on its way to you. You can scan a code and verify that the certifications a company makes to ensure that the organic, non-GMO, fair trade coffee is actually all of those things. And then you can tip the coffee farmer while you're at it. More importantly, businesses within the supply chain can share information with one another in real time and know that the integrity of their data is intact. And the brilliance of this is that it's going to be a knowledge base of data where you can search for a specific product and see all of the information about it that's been shared. It's the, it's the Google network of the supply chain information. Companies can choose which information they want to share or not to share. They can buy or sell data to each other. They can trade their data for someone else's data and a lot more. I said there's no blockchain, but there is consensus among the participants. The data is shared over the ODN and a hash or fingerprint of the data is stored on the blockchain of choice, so every participant is incentivized to share quality data and be accountable for their actions. And this isn't limited to food and pharmaceutical industries. It can be implemented in any supply chain around the world. Any good where you would want to verify the origin or quality of the product should use this technology. Origin Trail is a proven solution to the hair on fire problems in the industry. They have a working product, they have a profitable company for several years already. They're a team that knows the industry and partners to collaborate and bring about these solutions. Now this all sounds great, but you're probably far more interested in the token, so let's check that out.
To quote the white paper, the trace token is the means of compensation between supply chain data producers and data consumers on the one side and the origin trail node holders on the other. It provides the incentive to the nodes in the peer-to-peer -peer network to perform the system functionalities. Maintaining and operating the P2P network takes resources, time, electricity, computing power, storage space, and communication bandwidth. So you have nodes who run the origin trail decentralized network and manage the data of the supply chain similar to how Chainlink or ETH 2.0 validators work. Well, more similar to Chainlink because these are chosen validators. Supply chain participants have to pay the nodes with a trace token anytime they want to read or write some information on the ODN. Nodes then record a hash of the data to the chosen blockchain. This will add an additional fee depending on the blockchain they use. For Ethereum, obviously they'd have to pay the gas fee associated with it. Now a supply chain participant always has to pay to write to the network, but if they only want to read the data, they can do it for free if they're running a trace node that contains the data and they have access to read from the given blockchain. If you're interested in running a node and receiving the fees from the participants, there's a whole page with tutorials on the Origin Trail website, which is linked in the description. Trace Alliance is a hub of collaboration for businesses, startups, academics, technology vendors, and supply chain experts to resolve the challenges in the current global supply chain using Origin Trail. It was created to ensure fast and effective use of the blockchain in supply chains and it has support from many industry leaders already. So it's an informational hub to speed up the adoption of Origin Trail and the blockchain into those industries. It works like a marketplace and it connects businesses who would like to use Origin Trail but they don't have the IT capacity to implement it. For members who join, they're gonna get a lot of value from it. They'll have access to cutting edge technologies and they can get input from other members on their specific challenges. There's loads of research and data going into the alliance that members share with each other already. And each member has aligned incentives to bring more value to the whole. They have a LinkedIn group with over 400 members already, but let's go over some of the big ones just to give you an idea of the scale of this. This includes Parity Tech, the company behind Polkadot, Deloitte, one of the big four accounting firms, the Ivanon Tech Academy, which you should definitely check out in the description, Emergo, which is a founding member of Cardano, and a bunch more software, blockchain, and supply chain companies. And there are a ton more who are working on this together, which you can see on the Origin Trail website, which is, as I said, linked in the description. Now there are already tens of partnerships, so there's no way I can cover all of them, but I picked a couple that I wanted to mention. And the first is Oracle, you know, the second largest software company in the world, the one that did almost $40 billion in sales last year. Yeah, that Oracle. Origin Trail has been Oracle's partner for blockchain technology for almost two years now. Many companies already use Oracle's ERP software to manage their day-to-day -day operations, and with Origin Trail, they can easily integrate blockchain into their existing business infrastructure. Oh yeah, and Ivan on Tech was there during the partnership launch, so you can check out his video on that as well. Just use our searching scales to find it. The next partnership I wanna cover is the British Standards Institution, or BSI. So they work with companies to ensure regulatory compliance, sustainability, environmental consideration, and trust. They are incredibly influential, and they've partnered with Origin Trail to help companies with compliance, with proving the claims businesses make to their products, things like safety, quality, certifications, and more. And BSI just released a white paper in June to share their blockchain-based solutions. They focus heavily on Origin Trail and Trace Labs. The big part of the white paper I want to cover is their collaboration with SCAN. That's the Supplier Compliance Audit Network. You probably don't know about it, but you definitely know the companies that use it. These are companies like Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Disney, and thousands more. If you look at all of the imports coming into the US, 40% are members of SCAN. I'll, I'll say that again. 40% of all imports coming into the US are from members of SCAN who use it for regulatory compliance. Basically, factories outside the US are required to get regular inspections and audits to show their certifications of such. There are over 18,000 factories worldwide who use SCAN, and now with the help of BSI and Origin Trail, these audits, factory credentials, and all that information is gonna be stored on the ODN and secured with blockchain. No more counterfeiting, easier, transparent, interoperable movement of data. Government and multinational companies using blockchain. Mass adoption is happening. Just like my video on Unibright, there is 
so much more going on here than what I've covered. There's years of success, enterprises adopting it, multiple governments adopting it, a working product, massive partnerships, a profitable company, an industry leading team, and it's still under the radar for most people. I didn't even get into their connection with the European Union. Just like Unibright, in my not financial advice opinion, Origin Trail is crazy undervalued and definitely deserves a closer look. <sighs> With that said, thank you so much for joining me here. If you appreciate the info I've shared, be sure to hit those like, subscribe, and notification buttons. And if you know someone else who needs their mind blown, share this video with them as well. Till next time, thank you so much for watching, take care, and stay educated.